Hey guys, what's up? It's Quentin Drew here. So I think this is going to be box number 24 of the year of Pennies and Nickels 2015. Today is uh, June the 6th, I believe. Yeah, June 6th, uh, 2015. And um, this is a really good penny box, um, or penny nickel box. Got a lot of nice uncirculated AUs, um, a lot of nice cents. Not that many wheat pennies, only scored seven wheat pennies. But um, I did really good on the nickels, and um, no silver this box, but um, I got a couple finds in here that completely um, kicked butt, and uh, I'd take over silver every day, um, any day. And uh, yeah, guys, so let's dig in here. Um, got a bunch of miscellaneous nice uncirculated cents. Um, sorry if it's a little dark in here. Um, the sun isn't completely out. Um, it, it's brighter outside, of course, than it is in here. It just seems like to be kind of dark in here for some reason. Um, but 80, 77s, 82, 73, decent shape. 82, 61, 80, 76, 74, and a 67. All of these are in really nice shape, and I was really surprised by them all. Um, I'll see if there's anything I need in here um, that I need for my book. If not, I'll just put in my uh, my tube of uncirculated coins. Um, this is cool. I got four Canadian cents, and they all end in the uh, the four digits all at one, um, pretty much, except the very last coin, 1941, the year of Canadian cent got that got me uh, into uh, coins. 1941. Uh, 1951. There's two George pennies. These really have thick rims. So you can almost kind of tell um, without even opening the roll with the clear wrappers that these are uh, George pennies, which is pretty cool. There's a 51. Uh, there's a 61. And it's funny because this one here I wasn't expecting to find. Um, I was actually talking to myself thinking, you know, I don't have a 2011. And um, a couple of rolls later, um, 2011. I don't know why my camera's not focusing today. Could just be the lighting, all kind of sketchy lighting. Um, 1977, looks like it's been ran over by a train possibly, or only one part. Uh, 68S, 70S, 70S, 71S, and a 74S. All my estimate marks there. Uh, moving over to the wheat pennies, got a 37. This was in one of the last rolls of the box. Quite corroded, but I'll still take it. Pretty nice. Uh, 1946D, 1950D, 1953D, 53D, 58D, and a 58D. I didn't realize that's a 58D. Oh, I thought it was a 58 plane. Okay, pretty cool. So seven wheat pennies, not the greatest. Uh, I got 239 nickels. Back on track with the 39 nickels. Very happy. I think I'm up to like four or five straight rolls of these bad boys. Still no double Bonicello. Um, that would be a double die on the uh, wording down there. Um, we got a 42, decent, decent shape. Um, just for my rolls that I'm working on. Um, uh, decent looking 51, really nice looking 51, but it's quite scratched up on that side on the obverse. Uh, 252 Ds. Um, these are I'm also working on these for a roll. I think I've mentioned it to you guys before. Uh, 52 S, not bad shape. 54 S, really happy with that. And um, another kind of semi-key slash harder date to find, um, 1958, plain. Really happy with that. Um, just a little bit of a, a roller mark on it though. Not too happy with the roller mark, but the coin itself is pretty awesome. Um, and then I did get a really nice and circulated, probably an MS-65, um, 1977. Lincoln scent. Um, I put it in this plastic just temporarily. I'm probably going to put it in my uh, 1909 to 2009 Dansko because um, that probably beats the one that's in there. It's absolutely fantastic. Found three nice uncirculated 77s in this box, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, show this find. No, I'll show this find first. Um, got an 88 nickel. I think that's an 88. Yeah, that's an 88. And it has um, either that's just dye deterioration, dye wear or whatever, um, but I do believe that is a somewhat of a cud. Um, that might not be a, a marked cut or a, a known cut, but I found several 1988s where the hairlines appear completely like worn down. Kind of looks like a cud blob on there. Uh, this one's uncirculated, so I don't know. So you guys tell me, this is my third one, I think. Uh, I got a 2009 P nickel, very happy with that. 
39 milli minted. My bad shape. And uh, I'll do the normal routine, why not? Um, here's the roll. Another 2009 nickel. I'm filling up this year, look at that so far. Probably other, maybe, I don't know, there's 12 of them in there, plus the three dimes. So pretty awesome, or maybe four dimes. Three dimes. No, four dimes. Yeah, four dimes in there. Um, pretty awesome. And then I got, um, moving over to the better finds. Um, this was a really good find, I was really happy with this. I haven't found one of these in about a year and a half now. Um, it's a 1951S nickel, and it's the lowest mintage of any um, nickel. It's it's like the it's like maybe the fourth lowest mintage of the whole series, fifth lowest mintage. Um, it doesn't beat the 50D, but it's the second lowest mintage of the 50s coins. Um, it's a 1951. It's actually a 51S, and I was shocked with this find because um, when I first started off my nickel book back what maybe 2008. 2007 when I started my, my first 1939 to uh, 61 nickel book. Um, I actually had to buy my 51S because I never actually had one, never found one in hunting and I never thought I would. Um, I paid a dollar for it and like I said, the mintage is relatively low. This is my fourth one I've ever found coiner hunting, um, which is pretty low compared to all the other stuff I found. Um, all of course except the uh, 50D because I still haven't found a 50D yet, which I'm really hoping I'd find one. but. 51S, only 7.7 .7 million minted, and in that condition, it's about a dollar ten. So, not bad. Um, very nice coin, and I'm working on a roll of them, so that'll go towards it. Um, show this coin. I was pretty happy. I got a Buffalo, guys. Um, it's a dateless, I do think. I, I do believe it's a dateless. It might be a 1914, but I really highly doubt it. I'm not going to even bother using an acid treatment on this because it's just not worth it because it's a Philadelphia. There's really no Philadelphia Buffaloes that are worth anything, even if they're acid treated, unless they're a uh, 1916 double die. And usually, if there's a 16 double die, you can kind of tell on the uh, feathers. The feathers will be doubled on the side. God, I said that really fast. <laughs> um, but, you know. Sweet. Glad I got a buffalo. I think that's my 34th buffalo, I think I found. And the roll, at least, I'm working on. I've, I've probably found over 40 of them. And then the, the best coin, and I put this in the case, guys, and um, I posted pictures of this on a, uh, on a group on Facebook, and I got an offer of $50 on it. Um, this is a 1939, and I'll post pictures at the end of this video, um, if I remember. But this is a 1939 nickel, and I know the case is going to make it look like it's a lower grade, but I graded this right around an MS-65. It has full steps and everything on this. Um, I popped this out of a roll. It's just amazing. I got a $50 offer on it when I posted it on a, um, uh, a Facebook group. Found this corner hunting in this box. Pretty insane. I know I, I was just shaking when I saw this thing come out of the roll. Um, by far one of my best uncirculated nickels I've ever found corner hunting. So I'm probably going to actually sell this, guys. I know it, it actually, believe it or not, um, it, it, it catalogs for decent money. Um, it's a 39, and I, I'm not sure what kind of steps it is. I think it's the steps of um, 1940, I do believe. Um, so 1939 steps of 40. Um, it's a $50 coin, 65 full step. Um, so that's pretty much catalog on that. Um, I do believe it's, it's right at a 65. It might even grade a little bit higher. But um, PCGS uh, coin guide or coin price guide, the mobile app, has it priced at $165, um, and that's that's the good prices pretty much. I think those are pretty much more accurate than catalog value because those change on a daily basis by you know what sells and stuff on eBay and in auctions and stuff. Um, it's a very cool app. I would suggest getting it. But um, I think that $160 price is pretty much like the max price on this. But um, with $50 and offer on it, um, I will get better pictures for. Or, blah, blah. I will get better pictures for the guy. Um, he's probably watching this video right now, um, and uh, I'll probably sell it to him for fifty. Um, that's a pretty good deal for him. And of course, since I paid five cents for that, that's uh, uh, forty-nine dollars and ninety-five cent profit right there. So, not bad at all. Um, and I'll probably put that money towards some silver or something like that. Um, something I want in my collection. 
because um, just the 39 full step nickel is, you know, it, it's it's really awesome. Don't get me wrong. I just would like to put the 49.95 profit um, towards something I actually like more. Um, so yeah, guys. So thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, happy hunting, and I will see you guys later. I got a really good coin store find video coming up pretty soon. So. Um, one of my better ones. I've, I've been scoring a lot of stuff lately, guys. So thanks, guys, for watching. Happy hunting. I will see you guys later.